The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. A familiar scene plays before you. A lone renegade stands at the precipice of global annihilation. The grim punctuation to his warrior race. You know, the funny thing is, Bardock, even if you had seen this coming, there's nothing you could have done about it. You don't... you have no goddamned idea. Hmm, and even if you told every single Saiyan, none of them would have even believed you. Just... please stop talking. And you never even got a chance to say goodbye to your son. I have one of those? Oh god, I have two of those! Consider this downsizing on a global scale! You could pick up your unemployment checks wherever you end up. Go to hell! See, that was my first guess. Ah, crap baskets. And so, with a macabre flash of blinding light, the howling laughter of a blood-parched tyrant echoing through his mind, so ends the tragic fate of Bardock. Or so you'd think, if you didn't know a thing about merchandising, Hit it! Oh. Am I in a bed? Does hell have beds? You'd think they'd have beds of spikes. Or spiders. Or spiky spiders. Spikers. Wait, this looks like Planet Vegeta. Only even shittier. Which is and isn't weird considering the last time I saw it. It was blowing up. Hi ho! Ugh. We found you unconscious and near death in a valley not too far from here. We helped bring you back to health with our magical healing spooge. Ugh! Super polymorphic unleashing gel. We brought you to our town and our pleasant serene little planet. My name is Dre, and this is my child Tupac. Say hi ho, Tupac! Hi ho! Ugh! Where are you from? There is nothing about this whole scenario that doesn't make me so disgusted I want to violently vomit out my own internal organs. I despised you both so intensely that I can't tell if my vision is blurry from my near-death experience or from my unforgiving rage. If allowed, once I am back to full health, I will gut you with an honest-to-God smile on my face, and then proceed to paint the home I built with your bodies with your fairy blood. You hear that, Tupac? You've made a friend. Yeah! That came from my village! <laughs> Inhabitants of Planet Plant, we are here on a diplomatic mission on behalf of your new emperor, Lord Child. Pamphlets will be passed around to introduce you to your new exciting lives as slaves to his almighty horniness. Really? This is how you intimidate a village? Blow up a house or two? I don't even think you killed anyone with those pea shooters. Speaking of which, what models are those? They look ancient. Hey, we were gonna kill one of the sick ones if they didn't comply. Oh, kill one of the sick ones. What are you gonna do next, waterboard the elderly? Look, buddy, we didn't come here to be judged by you. <laughs> Amateurs. Hooray! Everyone give praise to our new violent savior! Bakudores, Bakudores! No! None of that! Shame on you! Who needs villagers with their soft beds and spooge? Rocks are soft enough to sleep on, right? I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, chill! The vital sensors and the blasters are the two scouts you just sent! Continue? Have ceased transmission. We believe they're dead! <gasps> In honor of their deaths, my men shall now and forevermore be given the names of fruits! Pineapple, bring us to Planet Plant! So am I Pineapple? Yes! Alright, I think I might have figured this out. This looks like a younger planet Vegeta. Those two guys were using older models. Maybe... This is the- hi -ho. And I lost my train of thought. Hello, violent savior. I have brought you bread and fruit. I don't want your bread or your fruit. 
but leave the basket. But violent savior, leave the basket! <laughs> I swear to God, I'm gonna eat his entire race. Damn it, I filled up on bread! Here you are, violent savior! I have brought you more food that you detest. Seriously, kid, if you don't start bringing me meat, I am literally gonna shit bricks. That is a rock! Thank you, Dr. Dre. Your spooge has cured my syphilis. You are welcome, Riza. Well, back to what I was doing before. Oh, you are just incorrigible. Hello, we are the space police. Man, f*** the police. Not now, Ice Cube. We are here to catch evil space criminals and various other ne'er-do-wells. I can assure you that we have already exiled Chris of the Clan Brown from our planet. We are looking for the man who assassinated two emissaries from the Frost Planet! You mean the Violent Savior? All hail the Violent Savior! Babutores! No! None of that! Shame on you! I wish to meet this man so that I may reward him! I thought you said you wanted to arrest him. I changed my mind a lot! Execute them. Sweet. Back to 100%. I'd go out and eat that whole village right now if I hadn't already filled up on rocks. Violent Savior, my village needs you. Ah, oh, Space Christ, what now? Our people are under assault by villains from another planet. Why is this place so popular? You don't understand! This could be the extinction of the entire Saiyan race! What? My people! The Saiyans! Oh no. But if you're Saiyans, and those old ass looking blasters, and this looks like Planet Vegeta! Damn it! There it goes again! Come with this! I am now bearing your child. To rule the houses, we will avenge my men and take control of this planet. Also, we want your healing medicine. How did you hear about our spooge? Because of raisins. Raisin is my intel guy. Now give us your spooge, or we'll beat it out of you. And I'll record the whole thing. <laughs> now I'm sorry I had to step in, but that was just getting obscene. So you must be the one who killed my men, Frieza. Frieza! Frieza! You wish to wrestle with the great Lord Child, yet you have not brought your own leotard! Workless whelp! You make a mockery of Wrestle Wednesdays! You see, they both start with W's. It's alliteration. Frieza! Frieza! I don't know who this Frieza is, but he sounds like a classy lady! Release our violence! <laughs> These people seem to have a sincere affection for you! What is your secret? Maybe because I don't look like a giant purple and orange trample! I have to just... And now, you die! I must protect the father of my unborn child! Congratulations! It's a corpse! Ow. Ow. No, Tupac! Damn you, big, small guy! And now to finish off the Saiyan race! Wait, hold on. Now I remember what I was thinking about. They call themselves Saiyans. And the friggin' blasters. And Planet Vegeta. And his name is Chilled. And. And. Hey! You! What year is it? 2222 BC or AD? The hell are those? I'm in the f past. Of all the stupid, asinine, shark jumping bullshit! Natural blondes. I am the legendary Super Saiyan. Yay! We're all Super Saiyans. I will eat you. And that's 
ladies, gentlemen, and those of unspecified gender, is how you split a banana. <laughs> Please don't break my butt. Okay. Truly? No. You petulant, impudent, contemptuous whore! You mad, bro? Also, thank you for asking! Then maybe you should chill! I'm always chilled! Hey, I get in there? Before I die, I have one, one more decree. All of our most elite warriors must learn dance choreography. Got to style all over our opponent's walls. Well, call it Blueberry. Do I still have to call myself Blueberry? Well, I'm gonna keep calling you Blueberry. Shut up, Raisin! And so, with the evil chilled put to rest, the unlikely hero made his way. And that is the story of how your Grandpa Bardock became the legendary Super Saiyan. Okay, a couple questions. Sure. Why did Frieza's death ball send him back in time? I don't know. And what happened to his psychic powers? I don't know. And why did all the little sayings sound the same? I couldn't remember which was which, honestly, so I just went with it. Well, I'm sorry, it's just none of this makes any sense. Well, of course it doesn't. None of this is actually happening. Huh? None of this is real. What are you talking about? Huh? Go back to sleep, go on. Seriously, you want to learn how to traumatize a village? Okay. See that kid over there? RGB, no! Hear that, mother? That is distraught. You should write a book. You're like a brilliant scientist! Well, I am working on this fake moon thing. 